This is a thin body porcelain lampshade. The design is from the snowflakes in Guy Thompson's hometown. There is still a long way to go from his initial idea to the finished product. For Guy Thompson, making this lampshade is not only a challenge but also relates to his choice of life. Guy is a Londoner, a PhD in physics, who is now a ceramic artist in Xingdezhen. Thirteen years ago, I was feeling unfulfilled in what I was doing at that point and where I was living. And it was then when I was discussing with my current business partner, August, what what was possible. And we remembered that we'd been to Jingdezhen maybe ten years earlier. It was a town where we could be creative. Porcelain is a combination of techniques and art, which can not only give play to Guy's expertise but also carry his creative dream. My grandparents had some export porcelain, and my parents then inherited that around porcelain for a while. Guy was very excited about the idea of fulfilling his childhood dream in the birthplace of porcelain. After much investigation and preparation, he set up his own studio with his partner August Wang, who is from Taiwan. Just like Guy, they're like this. I just really don't want to go. I just really have to stay in Jingdezhen. That's definitely the magic of Jingdezhen. This kind of magic is attracting them. At first, Guy and August were confident about their new business. But as soon as they got started, they found that making porcelain was not as easy as lab experiments. Mar, this is me and Guy. In the very early, very early, when we didn't know anything, we both had this kind of attitude of saying, "Do a pot, what kind of pot is it?" And we got the first pot that we designed, and we made it out of the same pot. It was the pot that we wanted to make in the same way. It was a year later than we expected. It takes Guy and August more than eight years to make these pieces. Through the twists and turns of the process, they've harvested a lot of experience. Their next goal is to making thin body porcelain, but first, Guy needs to visit a master of this art. Xiong Guoan started learning from his father when he was 12 years old. He has been working in the field for 47 years. So that's Wu Xi to Wu Yihui. 已经自古以来啊，他是教在上品，一个大型的东西哈、啊，三到五斤，它提升到零点一五毫米，或者是零点呢五毫米，它是呢慢慢修出来的。The essence of making thin body porcelain is shaping. During the process, Xiong Guoan uses more than ten kinds of tools to peel the unburnt porcelain until it can be penetrated by the light. As thin as paper and as white as jade, thin body porcelain made with traditional techniques has been transformed from practical objects into works of art. For Xiong Guoan, the lampshade that Guy designs cannot be done by hand; it requires grouting. In Jingdezhen's porcelain shops, lampshades made of thin body porcelain are done by the grouting method. We started. We went into a shop and asked. It's very difficult to find out a recipe for eggshell porcelain in Jingdezhen. Everybody has their special secret recipe. One of the great things about Jingdezhen. Is that it can provide a lot of inspiration when people can't find a solution. Jingdezhen has a history of making porcelain for more than 1,700 years. In the late Ming Dynasty, it was not only home to the imperial kilns, but a center of the porcelain trade. In Guy and August's eyes. 
the Eastern style always lies in the timeless skill. But we found in one shop where a supplier sold all the ingredients, he was able to tell us the vague percentages of the three main ingredients, which is the water caramel clay, feldspar, and quartz. His guy's job to research the ingredients. This duckling is a model for Guy's experiment. It bears the responsibility of confirming whether the formula is sound. Guy, because of his personal background and his training, he is very used to doing experiments. Actually, the most difficult thing for Guy is that he needs time. 并不是说我现在马上去做，你就可以有答案了。很多东西你得等烧完之后，你才知道一个结果。These ducklings look exactly the same, but are grouting with different formulas. Guy is going to fire them in a gas kiln with a stable temperature. The firing itself takes 11 hours and another six hours to cool down. After scorching temperatures of more than 1,000 degrees Celsius, the results are in. Some are burnt and cracked. Some have poor penetration. Some of the latest tests that we carried out the other day. What's the biggest difference? Some of these are stronger and whiter, and they're a lot thinner. They look lighter. I think, well, this one is the best. This is the latest recipe. Why is it the best? It weighs six grams, so it weighs absolutely nothing. Okay. Finally, this duckling announces that one of his recipes works. To perfect his thin body porcelain, Guy turns to another craftsman named Wang Xiaohua. Wang Xiaohua has been working in this field for more than 40 years. I'm getting this right because we we just wanted it to be how easy to put your finger through this now. Beautiful. I think it's fantastic. We've been very lucky to work with Wang Shu Fu because I think what we when we make something, we want it to be the best we possibly can. With the help of Master Wang, Guy can finally make this lampshade into a perfect shape. August also finds the right oriental theme for the work. Traditional Chinese hand painting techniques, bamboo and plum blossom patterns, reveal the origin and background of this lampshade. Guy says it is the traditional Chinese culture that nourishes his creative talent in Jing Dezhen. Jing Dezhen's culture was handed down through thousands of years of kiln fire, and by making porcelain, Guy is deeply touched by its beauty of porcelain and its culture. Ding Xiyue, CGTN.